Hello, hello, you wonderful swimmers. How are you doing? Today we are doing a Q&A, Ask Me Anything stream, as well as creating our sims and uh, recreating our sims, giving them makeovers, finishing building their home, and hopefully getting them ready for Wednesday when they will be, <laughs> fingers crossed, getting married if they're actually adults by then, um, so that we can have some fun with that. However, my stream's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? This is so fantastic. I love it when things work so well. <laughs> Please show. Here we go. <laughs> it was making me nervous for a minute then. It really was. Okay, so yeah, we this is an Ask Me Anything stream as well. You can, hello Erin the Rescue Summer. You can ask questions from anything too. And even after this video is live, if you wanna put other, other questions in comments, then go ahead. I would love to be able to answer anything. And it literally goes from my favorite color all the way to how I do my videos, um, how I have started here and stuff like that. I've got some, you know, I, I'm, I'm open to answer anything. I'm just trying to find the stream on my phone so I can make sure it's running smoothly and I've forgotten how to use my phone. This, we're working, it's all going well. <laughs> here we go, there I am, maybe. Here we are, yay. I worked out to use my phone. I've only had it for like a hundred years. <laughs> okay. How are you doing today, Erin? Um, no, there, yeah, right, okay. So our Sims, since they aged up, are looking pretty rough. Um, gone are their beautiful clothes and somewhere along the lines, I, I mean, I love an afro, but it just doesn't suit her. It really doesn't. So we are gonna get them changed up. They need this. Um, I did actually have one question from Erin, which I need to find. How have you seen YouTube change over the years? And that is such a fantastic question because when I first started, you went on, the content wasn't that great. So I've been on here for like seven years now, um, nearly eight really, uh, In around about March, it'll be eight years. And oh, I tell you what, at the, I, I currently have 50 pounds <laughs> waiting in Google Analytics that I can't access because I earned that pretty much it went into there the day that they changed the you I, i'd received a couple of payments before but then they changed it and the threshold for google analytics not that one google adsense is like ah uh, is it 60 quid i'm i'm like 10 pounds off of being able to access money i earned on youtube five years ago <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, so when you first came up, when I was on this, there was nothing, there was no uh, threshold. There was no 4,000 watch hours. There was no thousand subscribers. You went on, you made content. A lot, it was really big with playing with others. I was on multiple servers on Ark Survival Evolved. And you just threw up videos of you pissing about with your friends, messing around. And yeah, it was, just, that's how it was. You just, it was so chilled. Although as time went by and I'm not gonna start saying years and things like that because I can't remember the exact milestones in date that things happened, but there was definitely a massive shift of, and I used to watch Philip DeFranco a lot there was this massive shift of people being horrible to each other. Nothing like it is now. It was worse. I'm, I'm, I'm digging that hairstyle on her. It's really cute. Um, apparently we're starting with winter wear. That's fine. Um, but yeah, there was, 
this massive upturn and everyone was just horrid to everyone hello rachel how are you feeling sweetheart um yeah there was this everyone was just awful it really was um and i remember even at the time receiving some comments about especially female gamers oh my god at the beginning like i'm good i said i wouldn't do it but about two years in i got a lot of comments and, and a lot of other females did of just vile of you're a female you shouldn't be streaming and recording and playing arc dinosaurs and boy games that sort of juvenile stuff um and then you go forwards a bit more and youtube are like well we're we don't, we don't want this sort of thing on this uh platform and i think that is part of the reason it was to make sure people users were on here and they actually wanted to make content and wanted to entertain people they didn't like how it was heading i think she looks super cute um so over the years i've seen it go from this very free and say anything you want and everyone sort of supports each other to it being quite a toxic place and i think these thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours although i hate it i think it has also been a really good thing for the site itself um and i think it's done a lot of good in the long run for uh creators as well as much as i absolutely hate it and it drives me insane and all the rest of it so that's how i have seen it changing over the um years um i was also asked what my favorite color was and my favorite colors are blue and black they are, i try to conform i really did try to conform to this pretty pink um pink and purple and i'm feeling poorly noah's tested positive today oh bless that really really sucks and don't forget if you need anything let me know sweet oh i feel for you guys isn't that just the cutest little outfit i'm gonna keep that top for her um but yeah um, i tried to conform to the and actually for me personally i'm not a pretty pink and purple girly girl i never have been and i'm upset with myself for having tried to put myself in that box thinking that this is what people online want to see uh, having said what i've also already said about previously being attacked online for being female and playing dinosaur games and horror games and things like that i know i'm playing the sims now but that's a personal choice again <laughs> So yeah, again, this is an ask me anything. If you want to know anything personal, if you want to know anything about my YouTube journey or how I create content and things like that, then let me know. I'm happy to answer anything. And again, if you want to ask anything, uh, uh, you know, after I've streamed and everything and it goes up as a normal video, you want to ask anything, go ahead. I'm happy to sort of twiddle away at the questions i think i'm gonna keep her in glasses because she automatically had the glasses on this outfit i feel like we'll keep it going um i don't tend to put glasses on my sim so i think it's quite cute that she's got them on i want to put some little tidies on her because she is <laughs> she's gonna get very cold little legs otherwise maybe some little white ones so this is Dorothy, named by um, Mark. Oh, she is adorable. I think she's my favourite sim at the moment, I have to say. Okay, her little formal wear. Hmm. That's very cute. Oh, I do love that. Oh. She is the cutest little thing. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. 
beautiful. She is such a little treasure. I'm going to... Right, we need to take the hair down then. At bedtime, we need to have the hair down. We don't go to bed with our hair up. <laughs> or at least I don't, so my sims don't. I tend to put down do's for bedtimes. Hmm. I want something that's quite long. Maybe that's where we can keep the afro look. Because she did have that in the first place. And I feel like... I kind of want to keep her with that and you know when you scrape that back it's going to go into that sort and then it get no, that's a bit straighter isn't it oh I don't know oh I'm being really antsy aren't I maybe that one I don't like the clipping that's happening on the glasses though hmm what clothes have we done Oh wait, I got confused. <laughs> wait, where did that hairstyle go? I wanted that one for formal. Oh, maybe we will give her that one for bed. She'll have a good pillow for her little for her little head. Yes, she will. Oh, she is too cute. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, that's adorable. I think she's my favourite toddler to dress so far. Sorry, other two sims. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it comes with little wings! Okay, we need to change your hairstyle. Uh, so no glasses on at bedtime. Ah! No glasses on at bedtime, but then she will need them on for then. I suppose glasses for swimming just depends on how good or bad her eyesight is, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm I'm absolutely adoring that hairstyle. Though I want her to feel a little bit different for different things. <laughs> I want to put her in a dressing up outfit, I think. I think that would be nice. Oh, they don't have any costumes for toddlers? Oh my god. Oh my actual god. Too cute. There we go, beautiful. And maybe, have we got any little, can we put a little necklace on her? No. Um, anything here that we can pop on her? Oops, I know what I'm doing. Oh, she could have some little nail varnish on. We could actually give her nails because they currently don't have nails. How scary is that? <laughs> Oh dear. I think that's quite cute. Okay. And then swimwear again. She wouldn't be wearing glasses. Don't like two piece swimming suits on toddlers and children. And then hot weather. Again, we'll put her hair up and out her face. And you need your glasses on so you can see where you're going. Uh huh. Just like that. Beautiful. And hot weather. I mean, she could wear a little swimming costume. That's not really warm weather. Oh, that's cute. And with those other little shoesies, not those ones. Are they not here? Oh, there they are. There. Ah. Oh. She is very cute, isn't she, Rachel? Oh, Dorothy is a little cutie patootie. Okay, so we have her everyday wear, her formal, her sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, and hot weather outfit, and cold weather. I love this one. This one's so cute. That one and... Um, what one? And that one are my favourites. Okay. So Chrissy had a blue theme, didn't she, last time? So let's see. Uh, get rid of those garish boots. They really are garish. Oh, well, that's much sweeter. 
Put some welly boots on for the cold, maybe? And maybe some gloves for her little hands, if we can find some decent ones. What are these gloves? Like, they're not gloves. Give her some fingernails. <laughs> Maybe she can like her nails a little bit longer. Um, I mean, that that looks quite cute. Let's see what hairstyle we think suits her. So I don't like her face. <laughs> I know that's really mean, but it's a sim. Um, I don't like her face at all. I don't like the white hair, but we kind of kept it because of Father Winter. I don't know, maybe we should dye it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm dreading doing her up for her wedding day. Um, I mean, her, her cheekbones are so high as well. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to hell. That's cute. Not that one. Not that one. Nope. I think that one makes her face look a little bit better. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, can I change it for all of them? There it is. Oh, little tiara. Okay, where's that hairstyle? I want it to go for all of them. Hello, Dylan Fullen. Fuller, how are you doing today? I am, uh, it's amazing how much slower it is to pop up on my um, Streamlabs, whereas on the YouTube chat, it goes so quickly. Um, so we're doing a makeover for the girls and also changing the house a bit more, well, finishing the house because we didn't finish it last time. Um, and I'm also doing q and if you want to know anything to do with my process for YouTube, any personal questions, then you are welcome to ask away. I do withhold the right not to answer things that I don't want to, but uh, overall you can ask what you would like. Um, yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Really want to get her... Um, finished up fairly quickly so that's her day clothes because it's her everyday weather again i want to put some tights on her so she doesn't get cold um white tights black tights we'll we'll go for white tights or blue tights can you make me a moderator? Uh, after you've been on the channel for a bit longer, then yeah, but um, yeah, not yet at the same time. Sorry. I've got quite a few moderators and I don't really get trouble in the streams, so there's no need at the moment, but I will happily do it in the future. Hmm. Okay. She, she looks a right mess in this one. Uh, let's just try and get rid of some of that. Okay, let's start again with her from the top because that was just a mess. Right, let's try and put someone in trousers because I'm putting dresses on everyone. Like, it's really not that original. Um, where's the trousers? <laughs> I was just like, let's put trousers on and there's no blinking trousers. Um... Yeah, as the need arises for new moderators, uh, if you're happy for me to, I will keep you at the top of the list. Um, but for now, there isn't any need to have extra moderators. They're a bit too um, posh. Why am I, Why am I hating on all the shoes right now? Those eyebrows make her look so grumpy. I know, right? I don't think I can change her eyebrows, though. No, I, I... Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't know I could change her eyebrows. I thought that was one that was for, um... Not that any of them really make her look any better. I suppose that one's not so bad. 
Oh dear. Mm. I I'm thinking they're probably the best ones. It's her face, Rachel. Her face is the problem. Oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> I am so going to hell. Okay, um, I cannot find shoes for her. I'm really struggling with Chrissy. I really am struggling with Chrissy. Maybe, I, ju I just don't know. She is not my most favorite Sim right now. Okay, that makes her look worse. <laughs> Let's leave her at home when we have to go to a formal gathering. <laughs> oh my god. Um. <sighs> okay. Our beautiful child here is is looking a little better now. Um. Let's see. Let's give her some. Can we have normal socks? Oh, odd socks. Yeah. Everyone loves odd socks. Oh, I might leave her in that. I think that's really cute. I'd really love to put a cardigan or a jacket on. Resting father winter face. This is true. I love that. Um, full one piece, you are a child. <laughs> Dress like one. Um, maybe not going in the swimming pool with all these bits on your hair though, because that would be really bad. The eyebrows definitely helped Rachel. They really did. <laughs> okay. And summer. Summer wear. Let's see what we got. That's cute. That's also cute. That's adorable. Okay, that is adorable. Okay, she is. She's definitely getting there, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm digging her now. She's looking. She's looking cute. So she was my social butterfly, while Rosie was a social butterfly. Not sure that's how I it was supposed to go, but okay. Okay, let's see this little beauty. Um, hmm. Let's give one of them a fringe. No one's got a fringe. I say no one. The two existing children don't have fringes. So let's give Rosie a fringe. Um, everyday clothing. What should we put her in? Hmm. I wanted her to be quite sporty, if I remember correctly. I wanted her to go off and join the na army, the military, whatever it's called. So maybe we can have her looking a little bit grungy. Or something. I think that might be nice. I quite like that um, jacket on her. I think that's really quite nice. And then let's let's go for a jean feel to her. Maybe a little bit raggedy. Mm. Um. She's going through an early emo stage. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I'm doing to my Sims. I'm not very good at dressing Sims. Not sure if you could tell. Le leaving a lot to be desired of right now. Let's go trainers and some black socks to go with that. Yeah, I like that. I think she looks. She looks cute and like a little bit Oh, and look, the dress goes with that jacket as well. The roses and everything. I love that. Let's pop her in some mm, high socks or tights. Black tights. Black tights and socks? Not sure about that, sweetheart. Okay, I like that. She's definitely my easiest at the moment to dress. <laughs> right, uh, sportswear. I feel like she would go all out for this, like proper uh, labels and shit going on. Quite like that. You know, she's got that girly element to it while being like, uh, 
Well, that takes it away. Oh, she can have that purple still to sort of represent her mum. That'd be nice. With her designer jogging bottoms. They are beautiful. You have a lovely fashion sense. Mm, I'm not sure I have the best fashion sense, but I am definitely digging these simmies. Ugh. <laughs> um... I feel like she'd be doing the running and the messing, messy play and stuff and that looks awful. That looks truly awful. Ah, right, I want longer trousers. Or shorter. Okay, that I can, that I can deal with. Especially if she's going to be in it a lot. Oh, yes. We have to keep, keep, keep her the bunnies, definitely. Oh, Little pop idol, maybe? Oh, a snuggle, a snuggler, yes. Yes, there we go. And maybe go for black little bunnies on her feet as well. Oh, geez. oh my God. <laughs> I was going to say she's adorable and then I changed my mind. Not so adorable. I hate hats. I don't know if you've noticed, I don't really wear hats. I really do hate hats. That would be so sad at a party having a child feeling like they have to wear a paper bag over their head. Oh, my heart. My heart dies a little bit for all that. <laughs> um, maybe she can do something with her hat. Not that. Do something with her hair for a party. Yeah, maybe something like that. Maybe when she's at a party, that's where that, um, where she, like, wants to be a little bit more prissy. Or maybe that's where she wants to go full on vampire queen. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm definitely having more fun with this sim for dress up. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not a fan of the hats either. Fair enough, Rachel. They're not, they're just not that great. Oh, look at the um, rings on the shoes. I can't really see them properly. And the back zip. Oh, Oh, so grunge. So grunge. I love it. Let's see if we can do something a little bit on the cusp for her hair. Um, She hasn't really got that hairstyle at all, has she? This is like mum's forced me to have my hair done. <laughs> um... No, come on. Where's something a little bit rebelish? I'm definitely going to get her to have the, like, dyed hair as she gets older. I, re I want her to be a little rebel. Hmm. I am struggling. Oh, I quite like that actually. The simple, it's thrown back. Quite like that. <laughs> Mum said, put my hair up so I did into horns. <laughs> oh God, I'm going to keep that. Um, little swimming outfit. Dressed like an alien. Um... Will The Sims be discounted tomorrow? No, it won't. I thought it was Wednesday it comes out. So in two days. The 23rd. It's the 21st today. But it will not be discounted at all. The Sims wouldn't do that to a pack that's just coming out. Not a chance. Um, I, I think as long as they've taken this time to fix the bugs then that, you know, that would be fantastic. Um, what do you think? Do you think they will? 
Um, but yeah, I'm really not so sure that that's, they're going to do that. Oh, I don't know what to put her in. None of this matches together. Oh, the kids' clothes are so lacking. <sighs> Alright, we'll go with that then. <laughs> oh, that's cute. A little, like, rock chick. Um, can we go black on the skirt? And black on the shoes. There we go. And then for the winter clothing... I like the buckled look for her. I think that's quite nice. I feel like she would definitely have that buckled look from what I've already done. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I Yeah, I'd really love for them to do that. I just can't see it happening, unfortunately. I do think they should, though. Okay, so here are our Sims. Obviously, I'm not changing up um, Jane Plain. And that is just because we changed her up not that long ago. We have the youngest Dorothy and she is looking cute as hell. We have Chris who I did my best. <laughs> and then we have Rose who is a bit grunge and a bit uh, like... she She's feeling down about the world. She's down about her parents splitting up and... She's going to take this this out on the world. And I think that's going to be really cool. <laughs> so next, we need to finish decorating the house. Because I never did do that. I said that I was going to do it off stream. And I mean, my depression's been so shite at the moment. That I haven't. I really haven't. I haven't done anything. I haven't played The Sims since Wednesday practically. Other than to do a quick guide tutorial. It feels like it's been one thing after another at the moment. So, um, having said that, we need to decorate the house as well. <laughs> uh, so, we were doing upstairs last time. So, we have the parents' room, have the toddler's room, and we have the twins' room. I think we just sort of tried to do some of the twins' room, and it hadn't gone a that great. We still got the lounge to do. Oh, before I forget, I want to do that no shoes sign. No shoes. I can't remember. Um, if we go to... So there's a really cool thing in Snowy Escape. Okay, so in Snowy Escape, there is this sign that you can put up. And it forces Sims to take their shoes off when they go inside a home. And it's one of my favourite small aspects of the games that you just don't really think about. Like, what do you mean it can't... Is this door too big? Of course the door's too big. Um, let's move that one over. So basically, when Sims come in and out, they will take their shoes off. And it just, it makes it feel better because and more realistic. I really do think <laughs> that's quite cute. That is definitely quite cute. Um, maybe not that one. There's a couple of other ones here. I like that for decoration. Um, I love the items in this pack as well. Um, Snowy Escape probably has some of my most favourite um packs going um including the hot pot which i think is fantastic let's pop the hot pot down okay um oh i didn't want to do that <laughs> thank you very much okay so in here Maybe this could go in here, actually. No, I feel like it goes, it should go down there. <laughs> All right, I need to focus. Focus on one thing at a time. Paranormal plates. 
interesting. Maybe we can put a couple of shelves up here in the kitchen or something. Um, so it actually looks like we have things, plates and cups and stuff. I feel like that would be a really good idea. Uh, so we have a dresser as well, which could suit the parents' room. Don't forget to save along the way. Thank you very much, Rachel. <laughs> Here we go. A lantern rock. Mm. A bar. I don't think she's really the heavy drinker type. We've got the forks. Um, rug. I do like it. Everything's so textured in this pack. <laughs> I feel anyway. I'm sure there's those that would highly disagree with me. I want to put that on the coffee table that we'll put down here. Um, I want a two-seater. Where's a two-seater with a thing on? Oh. And we've got this one. Mm. No. What am I doing? It's all going wrong, guys. It's all going very, very wrong now. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. It's all good. I mean, I don't want that one. <laughs> popping out for a bit back but i'm back now hello and welcome um erin how are you doing now don't forget guys as ever erin the rescue simmer has the most unique challenge uh, series you will ever find in this game um it's a rescue series all about rescuing pets in the world and she does such a fantastic job with it uh you should definitely check out her channel just click on her name and you can get there um yeah fantastic i did answer your question earlier erin about how i had seen YouTube change over the years. So I'm not sure if you had that. If you haven't, I can repeat that. Oh, I had a proper little <laughs> there. <laughs> I hate that. I hate decorating. I am a terrible, terrible uh, builder. Uh, builder? I'm not even building. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Like, absolutely none. So my depression has gone through the roof recently to the point that, like, literally an hour ago I was crying. <laughs> I can laugh now. Um, oh, that is fantastic, Erin. Um, yeah, life gets you down and stuff and it gets really shit and hard. But... As long as you got good friends and good family around you, you'll get through it. <laughs> I'm going to keep repeating to myself over and over again because I do have a very supportive network. <laughs> um, oh, 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 <laughs> something happened there and I liked it. There is a much better seat like that in Cats and Dogs. Well, that corner one. Cats and dogs. Life can really suck sometimes. Hell, yeah, it can. Okay, let's move these. Oh. I must agree with Aaron. That is super cute. Although I really like that side table really like that side table i want to keep that side table i want it because i want it <laughs> mm. hello oh from turkey um ferric ferric is that's that's what i'm gonna go with ferric i hope that's correct i am really sorry if it is not no disrespect i'm just don't pronounce words very well <laughs> or read very well 
<laughs> okay. I'm not liking what I've done with... <laughs> Oh, when you look at something and you just go, <laughs> that's crap. <laughs> that's really, really crap. Okay, let's start again. I just, <laughs> I'm keeping that side table. I really like this side table. It's my side table now and I shall keep it forever. Oh, 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 I, I might have something's brewing. Okay, it's sort of, it's there. It's an idea. Is it gonna work? Probably not. Let's give it a bash anyway. Okay, um, right, I want the corner. Then I wanna go. Yes, correct pronunciation, but my name is Oslam. Oslam. Gonna run with it. Oslam? Welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm such a moron. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm gonna have to put my cheat on at this rate. These these things are annoying me. <laughs> They're just in the way everywhere. Wait, where'd my side table go? There it is. I do not want to lose my side table. I also want that closer. Mm, or do we... <sighs> this door gets just pushed back further and further. It doesn't get pushed back forever. It stays there, apparently. Okay, we could do that, though, and then maybe put a different one on the end. Try to alt place. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, and then, no. Then we... Here we go. I don't want to collision everything into craziness right okay so we have that that's not too bad is it i don't know <laughs> i don't know if it's too bad right now at the moment that's what we're running with um let's see if we can put a tv in here how badly could i screw up i'm only placing a tv um nope Nope. 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 Honestly, this can't be that hard. When you try something, but you know it's really not working. Um, what if we had it like <laughs> almost coming out of the room? Everyone can watch telly from there, can't they? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is what happens when... You stream when there is still... I have no wall there, Rachel. There's no wall to hang it on. And I don't want to move the TV around, the thing around. That's, yeah, because I've got to move that window. So I can't. What I'm going to do... Oh, Really? That sucks. Ugh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> oh dear. When it's just not working. I've gone into a house I haven't designed, so... <laughs> That's what I'm blaming this on. This is terrible. Yeah, this is truly terrible. I don't know what to do. Hello. 
Andrea, how are you doing? Okay, I don't like this. This isn't working. And I am um, slowly but surely going a little bit crazy. I hate all of this. All of it needs to go. <sighs> it's okay. I'm gonna get there, guys. This is process. It's a process. It is a process. And it's going to be fine. And I'm not going to go crazy. Let's take this half wall, this, this um, thing away. Yeah. Let's just take this away. How did I do that before? I, I did that. There we go. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. That will make doing this room a wee bit easier. Okay. There we go. So we've done that. It's come. It's coming, guys. Ah, oh, this is painful. I am sorry you are having to experience this. That black cloud in my head, it just won't lift and I can't focus. I think that's cute and I feel like that is something that she would pick. No, she'd have something like you sink in, wouldn't she? That's sort of what she... She's all about the comforts. After everything, she is all about the comforts and enjoying life. Let's put a cute little um, like sideboard in the window with some curtains. Yes. Something with a rug over it. Or plants. Maybe she can have, go a little bit green. No, I don't like that. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Which one? I feel like I'm looking for a Pacific one, but can't find it. I feel like that suits, that matches. Um, and where are those wool plants? I know what I want. I want the kit, don't I? Where's my kits? For all, show me all of it. And not that one. This one. So something similar to what I was trying to do in the, um, last house we were designing. I'm also gonna change all this wallpaper as well because I think it just looks like an old person lives here and they certainly aren't an old family. They're, um, I feel like she's quite a modern mom and the kids are all quite modern as well. It's entertaining to watch you, but are you doing okay? How is half term going? Got fun plans. Um, so I tried to take my kids to the zoo um, today and we got down there and they said that they're shut because of the bad weather and they had tried to send emails out to everyone. Do you know when I received this email? We were booked in to go 11 till, um, our booking was 11 till 12. I received the email at 10.51. Really? So um, then I had tears from two out of three of my kids because we could not go to the zoo. Obviously, safety comes first and the animals' welfare and keeping them safe. That all comes first. Having said that... Expecting people to uh, know that they have an email literally 10 minutes before they're due to show up is not good enough. <laughs> not that I said that because she probably had enough shit from all the other people going in and also being equally disappointed. So I kept my mouth shut and we just said, thank you very much for telling us and we left and we came home and we played Monopoly and Monopoly as any board game tends to end was not amazing however the kids did have fun and that's the main thing even if <laughs> Lily ended up crying because um 
the game was not going her way. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've had a stressful day and then I have been at Tom's throat for the last couple of days because I have been feeling so low. Um, which isn't good enough either. So I am human. I am but human. Um, and we are trying to uh, continue as life goes on. Um, but it has been a really, really, only word for it, shit few days. <laughs> um, and as I had said previously, I literally an hour before I started streaming, I've been crying. <laughs> this is, you know, we all go through really, really hard, tough things. I have an extra thing that's going on that I won't be discussing yet because it's quite severe. Um, but if anything comes of it, then I will give an update to you guys on YouTube. Um, but on a personal level, it's it's been really, really, really tough. Okay, I feel like we should, we've got young kids, we don't want them having computers in their room, so we'll have a computer desk downstairs so that the kids can do um, homework and things. Um, I feel like that goes really nicely with the window, but I want to go for that more of a modern look. You can have an old home with old structure, but have a modern inside, and that's sort of what I am going for for this um here we go hmm should we i think we should grab one of these chairs and put it in one of the other colors that we haven't used maybe the green we'll go for the green there we go, beautiful. So as you guys will have noticed as well, some of you, that the channel art has all changed as well. Um, there's been lots of changes going on on the channel. Um, there's plenty more to come as well. Should we be mean and give the kids like an old typewriter type like uh, style? <laughs> I feel like we should. No, we won't. We'll go for, again, more of that mod and we'll go for a block tower though. Um, yeah, uh, maybe we need some rugs in here. So we've got the basic furniture out now, I think. Oh, dryer. We wanted a washer dryer in here as well because I like torture and a washer dryer is definitely going to be torture. I'm also going to set up for them getting a dog. I feel like the girls need to learn some responsibility. So a dog it is. They're going to get a little doggo. Uh, let's see. Where Where is it? <laughs> where's the washer dryer? All right, where's... Uh, doo -doo -doo, laundry, laundry, laundry day. But all of it, not just comfort. Oh, come on, Charlotte. We've got this. We can do this. <laughs> uh, did you know this is actually how and why I started on YouTube? Because of depression, I started making videos. I was a stay-at-home mum. I love rugs for defining spaces. I know it's so amazing, isn't it? Um, so I had um depression i was a young mum and the um counselor the therapist basically said you need to do something that is for you and i i didn't know what that was i didn't know what i could do um the only thing that i'd sort of had as a hobby and i know i'm an old lady was cross stitch but with a three-year-old? How old? I'm guessing about three, maybe four, maybe four at a push. Um, but at that age, I was like, well, I can't do cross-stitch because it's needles around children and we all, you know, you lose these things. <laughs> you lose track of these things. Um, so I was like, well, I can't do that. And I, I had a computer that I'd got from my brother at the time because 
I I needed something to play on really just because I couldn't I didn't have any friends either um sort of because I was young when I had my son it meant that when I um went to uh, my friends wanted to go out drinking and I was heavily pregnant at 17 uh, luckily you know I uh, my case could have been very different I literally could have been a single mum at 17 just 18 when I gave birth but um he stuck around and he worked his ass off um and you know he was 17 working a chef, crap crap chef job um and yeah it was it was really hard and i had nothing to do hello tenor how are you doing thank you for joining us um so yeah i i needed a hobby the therapist the counselor he had said you need to do something that is just for you but every time i'd play games and things i'd end up crying and then i was playing with my brothers online and i actually found that i was not crying and then i i i don't know why i i i figured i i tried my hand at um recording so i did and for the first time i was playing games and not crying <laughs> i wasn't um and uh getting myself worked up over essentially nothing and that's i think for me i it was just loneliness and being overwhelmed by the situation and all of that stuff uh there was the childhood stuff in there as well but that's not for this stream um that sort of stuff's quite raw um so i yeah i started recording and i was enjoying myself and i wasn't crying and i was and i didn't upload the first god knows how many a hundred videos um but eventually i did and i didn't edit this video at all i tried doing that a hundred times and it hadn't worked and i it just made me let left me feeling more hollow and more useless and more worthless Sewing and babies is my jam and it is a dangerous hobby. <laughs> um, and so in the end, I just, I put this really shit video up and I, and I kept doing that. And it's only in the past three or four years I've learned how to edit, like, and not just whack things up because I can stand the sound of my own voice now. I literally could not listen to myself because I hated myself so much. I could not listen to my own voice. That's literally how bad it was. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. Um, and we all go through things at our own rates, our own, you know, we, we do our own stuff at our own rate and we learn and we grow and it was, that was that was definitely a turning point was just getting videos up there and i found this amazing person to um play with and stream with and record with and that was um uh, at the time he was called silent fan his name has changed although i'm still good friends on twitter with him well you know in general but um on twitter um he was he was so supportive um, and then I also met an amazing lady called Lady De Winter, and I hung out with other people over the years. You fall in and out. When my depression again got really bad, I would stop recording, I would stop streaming. And I, I did that flip. I went from only recording when I was upset, literally, if any of my previous videos, if you look at them, I had done it because I was so sad. I hate the sound of my recorded voice too. It's it's a really hard thing to overcome. Um, and it took me a long time. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I enjoy my own voice now, but I can listen to it without crying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've done this complete flip from literally recording because I was sad to not recording because I was sad. 
And that's why I forced myself on the stream today because I have said Mondays and Wednesdays are when I'm gonna stream and I'm feeling really shit, really crap, really awful. And the worst thing I could have done was not record and stream tonight. Um, I need I needed to because otherwise I'm I'm at that moment in time letting depression rule my life again and I won't do that I will not let it dictate what I can and can't do again because it's so easy to fall into that trap um and that spiral and then because you failed at keeping yourself in check you get, I get to that stage of self-loathing and self-hate because I can't control myself. <laughs> um, I think it's hard. It's definitely hard. Oh, trying to keep myself in check now. But yeah. <clears throat> But that's why I started recording anyway. Why, why this whole journey began. What are you working on here on stream? So at the moment, I am trying to put their home together. We bought this home and we didn't do it up. And I was supposed to do it up, but I didn't. So I'm trying to decorate now to give them what they need. But I also want to make it look nice. And that is what I'm struggling with at the moment. Let's push that back and then put a hoover down because it's going to get dusty as well. And we don't want the dust. Where is it? Um, there it is. Uh, which one do we want to go for? I suppose they could go for like the swanky one. Or we could go for that one but also where's oh i love this rug i mean this is a rug you want under your feet when you are eating breakfast isn't it definitely um i think we need some children's toys down here as well I think that looks nice okay let's pop a rocking chair down and a rocking chair it's looking good so far thank you so we'll pop a rocking chair down that really doesn't <laughs> i don't know why i stuck that there and let's put some kids toys down because i think we're gonna need that pop that there um pop a couple of these down the potty we definitely need a potty down here now i have realized we don't have a downstairs bathroom but we do have two upstairs bathrooms so they've got stuff <laughs> they, they've got enough bathrooms it's just if you need to tinkle when you're at the house you have to go upstairs okay so a couple of those maybe can we move that over? Let's, I tell you what, no, no. What's going on? Why is there a room there? I don't understand. Um, What was I gonna put down? Oh, a dollhouse. That's what I was gonna, oh. Oh, I hate that these dollhouses are so big. They just don't fit anywhere. Put an extra couple of toys down to learn. Okay. Right, I like downstairs. Downstairs will do. Let's put them in some bathrooms and we can start playing with them because it's been a while now. For sure, it has taken some time to get here. but <laughs> We're getting there. We have already changed them up. They are looking super cute now um everyone's kind of had makeovers should we put a we'll put a bath shower in here i think uh we need a sink let's turn that around and put the sink in maybe that one looks nice 
I mean, this this poor mama's working her butt off to give the kids whatever she can to give them such a beautiful house. Size down, at least some, apparently, they're still usable. Oh, I, you see, I hate sizing items down. I think, I don't, I, I feel like it takes some of the characteristics away from some of the stuff. Um... Hmm. I like that one. That one's cute. Um, and then in the main bedroom. So don't forget, we will get her back with Santa eventually, Father Winter. They will be reunited. Um, he's currently learning how to uh, take away the vampire curse. Now that is a bath that you can relax in after a long, hard day of being a single parent. Because Father Winter got turned into a vampire in the last episode. Was it the last episode? It was in an episode before. Love the build. Thank you, Kim. Thank you very much. Um, Yeah, so Father Winter, who is the children's father, he got turned into a vampire. He, well, he asked to be turned into a vampire so that I could kill him. But that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And we just ended up with an unkillable Father Winter who was now a vampire. So... <laughs> It all, it all just got a bit out of hand in the last episode, I feel, um, with trying to murder Father Winter. Okay, we're going to leave it like that so that we can actually start playing with our poor simmies, who have been waiting ever so nicely outside. <laughs> right, so we've given everyone a makeover. Let's get Mum to talk to these. I really want her to get to level 10 of the knitting skills so that when one of the kids, the, as the kids grow up and they go on to have kids, she can give the baby grow to them. And I think that's going to be so adorable. Right. Um, scouts as well. Could put the dollhouse on the decking outside. Do we have to? Oh, yeah. I forgot we had all of this space back here. Should we turn them into mini farmers? What do you think? Oh my god. Okay, let's do that. Let's stick the dollhouse out here. As Rachel has suggested. We'll get this one. It looks a bit more outdoorsy. Um, yeah, I forgot I had all of this outside space. And I wanted them to join scouts as well. Now, Scouts, the Scout stuff comes with, uh, what does it come with? Think Brain. Brain's gone to sleep. Parenthood. <laughs> Felicia, hello. Oh, you don't want to ask how my day is, but how are you doing? I'm new, but you seem great. Thank you. I love farming, but it's always so involved. It really is. Well, we are focusing on the twins um, in this episode. So that's what I, what I keep telling myself. Do I need two of these? I'm not sure. Right, I really want to get them to join oh, you. Um, I want them to do the scouts. No, it's not that. <laughs> oh my God. That is a great idea, uh, Clifford. Yeah, so the dollhouse, as um, Clifford Rachel has said, is now on the um, thing. I am doing a and a If you would love to know anything about The Sims YouTube journey or anything like that, anything personal, my favourite colour, then you just literally pop it in chat and I will answer any and most questions within reason so q a a bit random but i've been stuck on a train for six hours and all bathrooms are closed never had to pee so bad in my life oh my god what's the worst ever place you have to pee oh worst ever place i've had to pee do you know what 
when I first got with my partner, um, I, we were 16 or 17, and I <laughs> I knew I should have peed before. I've always had a weak bladder. I knew I should have peed before we left, well, when, when I left. And I used to have to get the bus to his house. And I ended up needing a wee at his mum's home for like an hour. Like, I, we were there. For, I was there for like four hours, and I was too scared to ask where the bathroom to use the bathroom. <laughs> that was the worst time I ever needed a wee, and one that I would never forget. <laughs> Why? Can't, how do I get them to join the scouts? Um. A uh, question, what's my favorite color? Blue and black, which is why I have changed my channel art from purple. If they made Sims ice cream, what flavor would it be? Oh my God, like rum and raisin. Barely anyone likes it, but we all eat it at some point for no reason. And then we still go back for more, even though we don't like it and it stresses us out, but we, we secretly like it, <laughs> but we won't admit that out loud. <laughs> why how do i get them to join scouts i'm really like there it is on the phone join activity okay chris let's do this she they both want to be social butterflies apparently come on sweetheart we can do this Drama club or scouts? So let's go drama club for Chris and scouts for Rose, I think. So join drama club as a club mem... Excuse me. As a drama club member, you'll perform in local plays and eventually hone those fine acting skills. Crying on demand is useful in plays as well as getting out of things. Impress your classmates and parents with your ability to become virtually anyone. Oh, do you know what? Who was it? I think it was Clifford, Rachel, who mentioned that um, one of them should become an actor. So we could do that with Chrissy. Um, where, where were we? Um, those, oh, Tenor, those are my son's favorite colors, blue and black. I think you have to get scouting board in from outdoor activities. Oh, is it from outdoor activities? Right, so what do we need to do? So now what happens because we've joined an after school club? You like rum and raisin. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so my partner loves rum and raisin as well, to be fair. I just, it's one of those ones. I, I always end up eating some of it, even though I always say I hate it, <laughs> which is the Sims for me. <laughs> I'm always on it, but it drives me insane. Right, so now that we are in an after school club, it does mean that we get an extra bit further down. And so we have things that we need to do. So increase creativity skill to two to become a line leader. Um, and daily task, practice acting or practice dramatics by using a mirror or selecting the sim. Let's can we can we be dramatic oh there it is practice dramatics and that gets our creativity up that's quite cool Ex uh, favorite expansion game and stuff pack oh oh tana Gun uh, where was tana's question oh right um so my favorite expansion pack probably is seasons i know that's a bit boring but it's something that's in my game all the time and i always use it it's it's always if i didn't have it i would feel it and that's why it's my favorite um my favorite game pack game pack if Parenthood is a game pack. I would have to say that because I always end up being a bloody parent in this game. 
<laughs> not that there's anything wrong with being a parent. I mean, I've got three kids, but <laughs> yeah, parenthood. Again, I would feel it if I didn't have it. And I use it all the time without thinking about it. Oh, there's also a manual. Oh, okay. And then my favorite stuff pack. Paranormal's really fun. Um, so I feel like I could live without any of these. I All of them, sorry. I could live without all of them. I can tell you which is my least favourite, and that is My First Pets, because that should have been in Cats and Dogs. Um, or oh, maybe Vintage Glamour, because I do like a... Um, I do like the butler. Hello, Casey, how are you? So yeah, I would say we've got Seasons is my favourite, just for the fact that it's always used. Parenthood for the game pack and um, Vintage Glamour for the stuff pack. What is all of yours, guys? You love this game. It is a good game, to be fair, when it's not being... The rum of raisin. <laughs> okay, you young lady, let's get you to join um, an after school club. Um, hopefully they can meet some friends as well that isn't each other. That would be quite nice. Um, so scouts, hey whippersnapper, do you have what it takes to become a scout? Whip out that compass and volunteer today. As a virtuous scout, you'll do fun activities with your troop and learn what it takes to be an upright member of the community. Okay, which kind of goes well with her wanting to go into the military career. Oh, homework needs to be done, Missy. Oh, where's your homework? I guess they haven't actually been to school yet. This must mean that. Clean up. <gasps> Do you know what I did, guys? I didn't put the bin in. Every single time. Hands up. Who? Well, comment if you... <laughs> don't put your hands up. I won't see. Comment. <laughs> That'd be really creepy if I could. Comment if you also forget the damn bin in every build. <laughs> I took that to a weird place. I do apologise. <laughs> Oh, I do apologise for that. That went weird quite quickly. <laughs> oh, I am feeling lighter. So much lighter. My heart feels lighter. Talking with you guys and laughing and playing a game that I, I love and hate so much. Thank you. Matilda, do you like Russian people? I don't dislike anyone, but I also don't like anyone. <laughs> I like what's in my house. <laughs> um, no, I don't dislike Russian people. I have no problem with any people. I'm sure there are horrible people in Russia as there are in England where I live. There's plenty of awful people over here. Um, and there's plenty of good people here as I'm sure there are plenty of good people over in Russia. So yeah, odd question, but that is my answer. Um, okay, what can we do for her to welcome to my channel? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, earn a scouting badge to become a griffin. Um, check badge progress on the scouting board. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. So... Erin, further up, said there's also a manual. I wonder if the manual is... What did you say I need to type in? Type in scouts. Okay. Um, and it's in... What pack did you say it was in? I've now tried out Star Wars. I've become the resistance and gonna figure out how to make a lightsaber. That's fantastic. Well done, Rachel. I take my hat off to you for that. Um, what have I done that it's not showing anything? What have I done now, guys? There we go. Oh. 
Get that lightsaber. Yeah, that's awesome, uh, Rachel. Fantastic. Um, it's not in there. It must be in parenthood then. Scouting board. Scouts. Scouts. <laughs> I'm going freaking crazy. Oh, we should get them a diary each. I feel like this should go in the hallway. But it's not going to go in the hallway because there's not enough room. Okay, we'll stick that up there. Outdoor retreat. But it's not there. I'm feeling very confused right now, guys. I am clearly doing something very wrong. Okay. I give up. I give up. We've got the board. That's all that matters right now. Um, why are you sad? Oh, mum, I'm guessing mum was doing some flashcards with her. The poor little dumpling. Okay, let's get her um, skills up a wee bit. A diary would be sweet. I literally just said it and I forgot it in the same moment. That's talent, guys. That is true talent there. To say and think something. It's in seasons. It is in seasons. The scouting board is in seasons. The one I just said was my favourite. And there's the ah, uh, and there's the manual which you reach at level two scouting career. It may be come to think. Right. It no, that's fine. It's in there. That's awesome. I have found it. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm happy. I mean, I am crazy, but, you know, like, I've been worse. <laughs> Diaries. Oh, my God. Brain. Come on. Let's get down to this. Right. Books. I guess I'll just stick them on their person. Let's get a blue one. And a black one. Because our rose is uh, a bit of a black flower at the moment. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but all of our sims inside the house don't have shoes on because of the sign. And it just makes so much more sense. If they've got socks on, they will keep them on. Um... Let's goof around. I really would love them to become best friends or something. I think that would be really cute. Do you like the new game pack? Uh, so the weddings, I haven't played it yet. It's not out until the 23rd. Everyone is getting it at the same time, which I think was probably the best thing they could have done under the circumstances. Um, what was actually true and not true in that whole thing personally i haven't got a clue um it was just crazy it really really was oh look at her our poor little bubba needs glasses already <laughs> um can mum maybe mum's playing with the dollhouse really i'm really excited to play the new pack is it going to be any good? That's going to be debatable. I will be... Excuse me. I will be streaming literally an hour, hour and a half after it has been released. So if you guys are worried about wasting your money on the new pack or anything like that, make sure you subscribe so that I... you And hit the notification bell so that it tells you when I'm next streaming. Because I will definitely, definitely stream it so that you guys can see if it is any good. Um, there's no point in wasting your money if you don't have to. Um, stop trying to play with that blinking dollhouse. What? Why can't you get to her? Do they get dirty feet? No, they do not get dirty feet. The Sims is not that advanced. Ah, <laughs> hug lovingly. Oh, I think it's adorable when toddlers need glasses. <laughs> it is. It is. It really is. 
Oh, she's gonna go and hug her little sister. Oh, Chris, you're such a cutie. And I didn't tell her to do this either. So, heart singing. Is she gonna hug her? I don't know. She's just having a conversation. Oh, there it is. Oh. So, that's too adorable. That really is just too adorable. Um, you want to talk to your little sister as well? She, oh, this is so adorable. Just like, they're proper. Oh. Oh, look at this for a family-like photo. It's so beautiful. Everyone's just talking and having fun and ah oh, my heart's melting literally melting wait did she just don't tease her about her face that's really cruel um i want the girls to go to the park i think we might need to get a park I'm excited to see you stream the new pack. I will defo wait to buy to see how your experience goes. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, it's good. It's definitely going to be interesting. That's for sure. Whether or not it's any good. I mean, it looked so buggy. I think is the only word for it. Do we have any events coming up? talent show we've got the festival of lights coming up and the spice festival and new year's is coming up as well hello oh, thank you matilda thank you so much for subscribing i do appreciate that you're amazing <laughs> um that yeah i'm i'm curious whether or not it's gonna be my son just walked in and leaned full weight on me how can i ask how old is he a toddler or a child or a teen i mean my teen my boy he's 12. he's 21 this year that <laughs> nice my 12 year old ah, oh, when he gives a hug he's taller than me now as well and he literally like i feel like i'm gonna fall over he like lops himself and you're like gonna stand up <laughs> i can do this um okay let's see what do you need to do homework still not started let's get her to write in her journal so with the parenthood you do get your character values okay so um yeah we want to get these up that's for sure i think i want to get responsibility up for rosie but conflict resolution and empathy for yeah let's try and focus on conflict resolution empathy and emotional control for chrissy and responsibility and manners and emotional control for rosie that sort of drives them apart in different ways so that they're not the same sim at the end of the day oh bless her it's not that bad chris i think currently she is literally writing about her parents splitting up they're still married but there she she's thinking about all of that and she's just really really sad about her parents not being together um let's get mum to try and cheer her up a little bit try and cheer chris up and joke about chicken butts because I, I that is definitely something i would do they never grow up they will always be our babies well that's what i tell my boys yeah they will they certainly will always be our babies <laughs> oh they do grow too fast though at the same time. You're gonna teach her a valuable lesson. And Rose is just watching. Oh, well done, she did something. I'm not sure what. What is that icon for? 
what is that icon for? I have no idea. Right, she needs to pee though. So let's have a quick like little tell a goofy story and then go and pee. Then, and uh, I agree always our little ones. <laughs> they really are. They really, really are. She's telling her a story and then she's going to go and pee. Oh, why are you sad? Tired from blocks? Well, stop playing with the blocks then, you plum. Do something else. Why do you keep getting pop-ups? Okay, I think we need to start cooking some dinner, maybe. It must be coming up time. So, yeah, it's 2.51. So, we'll start cooking something. We'll serve a late lunch. Let's serve a mac and cheese for everyone. A nice comfort food. They've had a rough few weeks in game. Oh, little miss. That is the same face my Luna had on her face when I said that we weren't allowed to go and see the monkeys today. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's get her to play in there. Yes. Go get up to no uh, to mischief while mum's back is turned. Why not? <laughs> Seems like fun. So in chat, how many kids have you all got? I've got three. Um, three kiddos. Oh dear, I think she's making a mess. Are you being naughty? <laughs> she looks like she is having a whale of a time. She is doing that. Then we have mum has just dished the... Can we call the children? Do you think we could call our children for food? Grab serving for Dorothy. Uh, call to meal. No, stop eating. Go sort your children out first before you sort yourself out. It's like parenting 101. Feed the kids first. <laughs> uh, you got one. <laughs> Tenna has one. I've got three. We Are you giving it to her? There we go. Well done. No? Okay. That Okay, we're just good. We're going to have plates of food. Okay, Chris, instead of getting that, why don't you eat that? What are you eating, madam? That is not what I cooked you. She's like, well, I want something healthier. Thank you very much. No, where are you going? <laughs> Stop getting more food. Come and eat what you've got. Oh my God. We're going to do this, guys. We can do this, guys. There we go. We're sat at the table. Oh, but poor... Oh. Oh. I feel bad. Okay. Everyone's eating, but let's get you to sit here. Let's get you to sit and let's get you to sit over here. Let, let's sit with the baby. Like, she's sat here all on her lonesome. Like, I felt well bad for that. Let's watch some TV as well. Oh, she should do movie night with the girls. We'll get the popcorn machine. Yes. Let, right, I need to get a high chair anyway. So let's go ahead and grab a high chair because... Then they can eat at the table together. Um, oh, actually, that one looks more colourful. Um, not pink, green, yeah. Um, and we'll get the popcorn machine. And once the little bab has gone, do you include the partner as a kid? Um, well, not always, but I suppose you can if you want to. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh dear, well, sometimes, sometimes you do, it depends how they're behaving or you're behaving. Um, yeah, once the little bab has gone to bed, which is going to be fairly soon by the looks of that. Oi, how'd you reach up there, you little bugger? <laughs> oh, oh, sweetheart. Okay, let's get mum to put you to bed. Read her to sleep. Because we don't want her to be sad because she's too tired. Oh, no. Can one of the kids pay the bill? 
Nope. <laughs> She'll have to pay the bills in a moment. Right, okay, she's gonna put the little one to bed. Which I think is a very good idea. They have nine and a half grand left, so I don't think she's in any hurry to go out to work right now. I think she's just focusing on her kids and making sure that they are safe and happy while she waits for Father Winter to not be a vampire, which we're going to head over to him in a little bit because he was just about there. We just had to earn a little bit of money. So now it's getting evening. Maybe we'll head over to him. Oh, poor little mite. So we're going to re read her to bed. Uh, no, we're just going to tuck her in. Oh, I love when they tuck them in. It's so cute. Okay, let's get her to pee and then pay for the bills. <laughs> pay the bills. I'm delighted you recommend I spent time with Nancy. That's Father Winter. That's our husband. Um, let's home home pay the bills one thousand one and a half grand oh my god that's ridiculous way okay right now the little one has gone to bed before everyone um goes to sleep hello little foxy um we're gonna make some popcorn that's ice cream <laughs> that's not what i wanted i wanted popcorn can this go on there? No. Okay, um, let's try that again. Popcorn. That's still ice cream. There's the popcorn. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, I pay your bills. Yeah, I paid my bills. Let's cook some... Oh. Oh, level seven. Let's cook some buttered popcorn for the girls and... We will go ahead. Oh, look at her going. She's getting her responsibility up. Don't go to bed. I was going to, like, literally make you girls some popcorn. And are you going to bed? You're not that tired. Seriously. Right. Grab a serving. Grab a serving and grab a serving. Can we all grab a serving? very quickly and then one more there we go now watch a movie with and let's watch uh lost dogs home with the girls because that didn't sound scary come on take your popcorn oh come on girls mum doesn't bite sit down sit sit Here we go. Oh, look, they're watching the movie together. I did it. They're all eating popcorn and watching the movie. How fantastic is that? Oh! Do you know how hard this sort of thing is to do, especially when you're recording? Like, <laughs> it never seems to happen. You were thinking about rum and raisin again, hence the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, apparently I was. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> uh, look at them. They're all watching their movie together. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. Let's speed it up a wee bit. I love this. This is so sweet. Hashtag sim goals. Yeah, tell me about it. Just getting them all. Oh, the movie has finished. Okay, let's have a cuddle and she can cuddle. Cuddle, 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 cuddle. Oh, enthused about the movie. Oh, 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 oh. No. Ask a question. And complain about the actor? No. Question, that's fine. Okay, it's like 9.30 p.m. The girls definitely need to go to bed. So does mum. So Rosie was pink and Chris was blue and nightlights. 
forgot the night light for their room. Hang on. We do not want to forget the night light. Heaven forbid. I'll go for purple. Okay. And I think we're going to switch over to Father Winter as everyone is going to bed now. And we can... Yeah, let's go and switch to Father Winter. See if he is any closer to getting the Vampire Cure so that he can finally... Good job on getting them together, keep moving. It really was. Um, so that he can move back in with them. I feel like it's it's been long enough now. Oh, they're not there. They are Newcrest, that's it. Oh, I don't know where he is. Nettle Lane, hey? Where did he wander off to? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, he was just about to go and knock, but they're all going to sleep, dude. Go home and let's work on this cure, I think would be a good idea. He's also gone and got himself a job again in painting. Any opinion on the speculation, speculated romance pack? Is that even out yet? Romance pack? I mean, do you mean the wedding pack? So the wedding pack um, is due out on the 23rd, which I will be getting an hour after release and I will be streaming it so that you guys can see the game firsthand. Um... Right, where were we? He needed to make this drink, didn't he? Uh, make drink, make drink. And there it is. So is it just insufficient funds? Let's get him to grab a job then. First he needs to grab another plasma. Not that one. <laughs> he needs to grab a plasma pack. No, not the wedding pack. Is there another romance pack? Have I missed something? If so, let me know in the comments because I'm very curious. Uh, because, I mean, see if all those bugs got worked out. <laughs> so if we have a look at the packs currently, we have... We do have... The romantic garden kit then obviously we're getting the wedding pack i mean if they did a game pack that actually included like more romantic interactions um a, an attraction system things like that thought i heard something about a romance pack coming out i could be wrong i think if they did that if they brought out a game pack that was all about romance then especially as this wedding pack has had such a bad start to it i think that if they brought out a romance pack that had an attraction system it would be cats and dogs my first pet um stuff pack all over again and it would tear this community apart i really do think that after the drama that has surrounded the um the uh the the russian um whatever happened with that because i'm personally still confused by all that which is why i've personally kept my mouth shut on social media about it because so much of he said she said um and what's true what's i do not know and i know my worth enough not to say something um yeah so i i don't know um if they brought out a pack a, a romance pack straight after their after a wedding pack people would say that it should have been in that it would be as simple as that it would have to go in that pack they couldn't do something like that separately 
Apparently there is an update on the base game as well, a new lot that's a wedding venue, but apparently you can't get married there, lol. There is a wedding venue. You will be able to get married there using the wedding arches. Um, it's just the venue name is, is there. Um, you won't have all the nifty new, uh, if you've, if you're not playing with, from what I'm aware, if you're not playing with all the extra packs and stuff and the wedding pack, you won't have all the events that would come with it. So when you go to create an event, if I can remember how to do that, you go to add an event and this is how, no, add a holiday? Yes, yeah, so this is how it's going to be set up. This is basically your options for the wedding. So you will have a bachelor party and you'll be able to put on there the different things you want to do. For the wedding, you want Sims to make a toast and you want them to cut the cake and you want there to be a, ma a wedding. There and There's going to be loads of unique options that I don't know what they all are. Um, and they will be all on here. Um for you to create a wedding that you want your sims to have. This way, and calling it just a wedding, it means that they don't have to fit into um, different religions and different ceremony types. There's a whole host of options and you can choose what suits your game, your culture, your whatever you are playing from. Um, which I think is probably the best way they could have done it um, in that one respect. Okay, let's get him to earn a little bit of money so that we can then... So he changed jobs because we were a freelancer. We were a freelancer. Why did he... Why? Yeah, well, you know, you, you quit your job. You... <laughs> You changed your job. We were a freelance um, tech computer expert. At least we haven't lost the progress we'd made. So we want to go for, oh, yes, that one. Okay, so let's study. Um, I was unaware that of that i it's exciting to think that there could be a romance on top of the wedding apparently there is an up yeah um you see erin i've got to disagree i think that the community would be in uproar if they brought out a romance pack after the romance uh, after the wedding pack I think a lot of people would think that they should be together and i know ah uh, Who's the one I like watching? The news one, who's also called Erin, ironically. Um, she um, She's one I know has also um, said that, you know, sh it should have a attraction system and things and, so, and dating, uh, or, you know, online dating and matches and all the rest of it, that all of this should have been in with this wedding pack so i think it's really tricky right i am going to have to pause for a very quick second i want to go say good night to the kids as tom is putting them to bed and i need to pee so i'm literally going to be simmer erin that's the one um i will be back in a literally one minute
Thanks for coming. Alright, see you guys. Thank you. There we go. Oh. Uh, apparently I am a needed lady. Oh, aren't we all? <laughs> all right. I lost my hairband to Lily going to bed. So now <laughs> my hair's going to be so messed now. <laughs> I hate being able to see myself. Ow, I've knotted myself. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all going wrong, guys. I've got water all up my arms from washing my hands. So that's nice. Feeling a bit damp up my sleeves. At least I hope it was water. <laughs> oh, I'm such a grub. Right. <laughs> of course it's water. Right. Okay. So that's done. Kiddos are in bed. I have uh, done my lady business. That was the nicest way I have ever put it. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see how long we can go for and get him sorted. When it's morning, I do want to head back over to our ladies um, to keep them growing. I just want to bring the family back together, really. Okay, and then you can write the report for 7,000 simoleons. So that's not too bad going, to be fair. So how are we doing in chat? Don't forget, guys, to subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss a stream in the future. Always lots of fun going on here. <laughs> Maybe. Oh dear. Nearly there, dude. I believe in you. We can do this. Maybe. There we go. 11,000. 11,000. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Apparently, I choked on that 11,000. Oh, come on. What else do we need? 10 garlic. Did we not buy any garlic? Apparently not. Okay, so again, the easiest way of doing this is to just buy the fruit pack, the, the packs. Where's, where's the freaking garlic, guys? It's a barrel of fun. It really is. Now, where's that freaking, uh, freaking, freaking uh, garlic? Give me garlic. There they are. Whoo! I wasn't, I wasn't worried at all then. Didn't sweat a thing. Okay, open these packs of garlic. Open. Stop playing on the computer. Moron. Come on. Get off the computer. The quicker you do this, the quicker you never have to drink a plasma pack ever again. And we can go to the girls before it is um, school. <laughs> and maybe even go on a little date. Wait, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. I thought I'd lost it. Damn. Don't do that to me, game. Come on, Clem. Let's do this. <sighs> so other things that I have going on on the channel, in case you didn't know, we have stuff. Plenty of stuff. So I've started doing every Monday, we have a new tutorial video out. I just did the wellness skill to go alongside the website. And then we have uh, Through the Ages. Does he dislike mixology? No. Um, then we have Through the Ages, which is a challenge that I created myself I had a brain fart then that that moment of like the computer screen going you know not answering yes and it's New Year's Eve and it's a new hymn yeah there we go woohoo father winter is back he is happy a vampire no more okay let's head on over back to the girls let's get the girls to school and then maybe 
we will get Clem to take Jane out for a date. Um, that might be nice. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I've made a challenge through the ages and that challenge uh, takes on aspects from the history challenge, the decades challenge, rags to riches, like every challenge you could possibly think of, there are elements in this challenge, um, including the Disney princess challenge as well now, because there's you're going to play as some Disney characters through the eras as well. Um, so I think, I, you know, it's just little bits of fun to do with characters over the eras and decades and like starting at the stone age and going through to current times um i'm not creative enough to do future times <laughs> okay so it, everyone it looks like they are pretty good it's saturday so there's no school um so maybe we can I have an idea. This might crash the game though, so be warned. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and place down a burger joint. Let's place down a burger joint in Newcrest. Um, that was my attempt. It did. <laughs> it was shockingly bad. It did not go well. Um, my gallery. Uh and lots type a restaurant a cafe all right we'll take something from the gallery because that looked rubbish um cinderella this is a cafe um oh it's not <laughs> okay and then try again a cafe Let's get Clem to take them out. Um, hmm, where should we go? That looks really sweet. Hmm. I want somewhere with a play area as well. The Honeybee Tea Garden. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, I don't know where to go. Tiana's cafe. <gasps> Is this from Princess and the Frog? That would be so cool. It is. <gasps> oh my God. This is her dream. Oh my God. I love that. Um, I want somewhere a little bit more rustic-ish. Is there a McDonald's? Oh, that's such a good idea. Um, under restaurant, maybe. I feel like there should be. There always is, like. <laughs> Where's all the McDonald's at? Okay, let's... Let's see what we got. Something must come up if it's already been typed in. Surely. Come on. Let's give our Sims a McDonald's. They deserve one. <laughs> a perfect place to take kids out to as well. Like, it really is. Yeah. Here we go. Um, I'm guessing all these are workable because they're usable because they are on. Um, look at these. Ah, oh, aren't you people so clever? I am not this clever to do something like this. That looks fantastic. Okay. They're going out for breakfast McDonald's. Perfect. Here we go. So how is everyone doing in the chat? I've got... 
loads of people in at the moment so thank you guys so much for joining the stream if you are new consider subscribing or continue lurking i love lurkers i love commenters i love i love anyone that is willing to take even a second of their day to watch to to watch the stream it's incredible ouch fast food search it's uh, yeah um Let's see. So let's not push our luck because retail lots do not go down well um, at all at the moment. Um, let's... I feel like Clementine should take them out rather than them taking Clem out. So let's do that. Let's get Clem to invite them out. Yeah think that will be best hopefully the mum actually wants to go that they didn't leave on exactly good terms let's let's why can't you do anything the game is loading no it's not <laughs> um can we Hmm, plan a social, ask on a date. No, because I want the girls to go as well. So I guess we'll just have to travel. I agree, Clem needs to make amends. I mean, he also... Oh, maybe he should take Robin out as well. Robin is also his child. So in my quest to murder father winter like several streams ago it did not go well and <laughs> i tried to kill him via woohoo with jane and it wouldn't work and so i figured i tried burning him make an angry vegan sim that works at the mcdonald's lot that's cruel <laughs> Um, so, um, then it was suggested that I turn him into a vampire and kill him via the sun. Okay. Seems like a good idea. Well, I, we went to Lilith and one thing led to another and, um, she ended up pregnant. <laughs> Remembering at this point, he was an elder as well. Um, he ended up, he ended up getting her pregnant. Then he turned, she turned him into a vampire and he, he wouldn't die in the sun at all father winter is immortal and so <laughs> so um in the end we split up with lilith and jane kicked him out for him to then find the vampire cure so a lot happened so father winter is currently trying to make amends for his bad deeds so he's going to take the girls out and robin out i lilith has said yes that's fine take your child out and you know uh, treat her to a nice mcdonald's with the rest of your family why does it look like there is a giant front door i don't know how small it is for you guys but there's like a giant front door on the front of this mcdonald's lot which is really weird so he is gonna take them out and as erin said he needs to make amends for his really rubbish behaviour. It really didn't go down well. I will go ahead and add a couple of um, things as well. Those things for babies. Hi, chairs. I don't know if toddlers can dine, you know. Oh, well, considering neither of the toddlers have showed up, I guess... Robin cannot visit this lot and has been... Okay. So Clem is taking out the bigger two girls and maybe he'll take the toddlers out to the park or something. I can see a giant front door, lol. I... Oh, I see. It's the McDonald's sign. <laughs> that makes sense. I would love to know how they did this because I haven't downloaded any mods or CC for this. Uh, specifically for that anyway so yeah right let's get ourselves seated oh look there's even a high chair here and we can't use it where's the checking in desk there no oh is it this 
I don't think this is a usable lot. Because they can't actually... They can't be interacted with. Oh, well, it was a nice try, whoever made that. Such an amazing idea. But unfortunately... <laughs> It has to... Clem? Oh my God, what the hell is going on? Well, apparently people can get a suit. Just not our Sims. What? Ah, there we go. Did it. Oh, we had to wait for the Sim. Oh, maybe that was... Oh, I broke it. It's all good. She is looking rather dashing, isn't she? We're going to have to like follow and hope that because we're playing with the minority of the Sims, we're going to have to hope the other Sims just do as they're supposed to do. Right, so let's um, friendly and ask about her day. Ask the kids how school is going and... Just like, oh, ask about school and ask about hobbies and skills. Like, take an interest in your kids and, like, you're really, really sorry, Clem, that all this happened. And you're like, look, I'm human again. I'm not a vampire. I changed again for you. And she's like, yay. <laughs> They're so happy. Ask about day. Don't you go wandering off, Sim. Oh, I hate when they do that. Let's, can we make a New Year's resolution? Here's something. Can we? We've got to lose weight, get promoted, write a book, complete an aspiration milestone. Here we go. And then, and then neighborhood confidant maybe like showing that he's really really trying to be better um or family super parent <sighs> successful lineage because i mean he wants to see his kids succeed and grandkids or a big happy family caregiver Maybe a uh, caregiver would be the uh, big happy family would be the best one. Have a child get married. That would be perfect for the Wednesday stream as well. Oh, yes. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to go for big happy family with him. Because I just feel like that is going to really be the best one. Enthused about writing. So he's made a New Year's resolution. When he completes that then it will say so. Where is she? Okay, let's order for the table. Okay, so to do this, we need to order for the table. We've spent long enough chit chatting away. Okay, so now we have to decide what everyone's going to have. So the fizzy fruit juice, fruit drink. No, let's give the girls some milk, make them grow up nice and strong. We'll get mum to have a chef special and he will have a soda. Okay, and then for... Now, you can only pick one meal at a time. So if you want to go out for a romantic meal, then you have to do this like each time they finish the course. But they'll also get full filled up on the first course. So, yeah. Um, let's get both the girls to go for a pepperoni pizza. Yes. Yeah, he has parenting, level 10 parenting. Yeah, I know he's got that. Um, which is ideal, which will help towards that. Mum can go for, let's get mum to go for the scrambled and he can go for the hamburger. Actually, let's get him to go for the vegan burger. 
And then maybe if uh, they're still all behaving, we'll get ice cream as well. So the food will come over at some point. Ask Jane to pursue dream job. Finally back, I think. Well, welcome back. Clem is now, Father Winter is now a human sim. And he is trying his best to make it up to his family so that Jane will take him back. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think this is going well. After they have had this meal, I think we will be ending the stream, though. Um, I think it's been really lovely. Um, it's been really... The toddlers weren't able to come. What the hell? Has the nanny, like, brought them here? Like, I can't cope with the kids. That's crazy. Like, what? Why? I don't even understand right now. Let's get him to come and say hi. Hug his girls. Both of these are his as well. That's right. Father Winter has four kiddos. He's waiting for the order. I don't know if he'll be able to leave. Oh, there it is. And so normally they would all sit and eat nicely together. But because, um, like, his children are here. I think he's chasing his children. His children are gone. They, they showed up and they went again. Nice. Hello, Kim. Thank you for joining us again. I do appreciate it. Oh, a missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favourite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and I feel sad. Right, so because he's level 10, um, because he is level 10, it means that you can see what will happen depending on which he goes. I love the family you made. Oh, thank you. Hopefully, Father Winter is going to be able to move back in with the family now that he has um now that he has made amends uh for everything i think he needs to take jane out for a date so maybe this evening or something he can take them out and i woke luna up oh no and then Sorry, Tom is looking after the baby because I've just woken her up from being too loud. Wonderful. So they've just about finished their meal. I think he should probably pet. Should he buy everyone ice cream? Let's order ice cream for everyone. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's gone to take a whiz, which I think is fair enough. Um... I think both the girls. Oh. There's already a pending order. There isn't. Do you have to, like, do it one at a time? How does this work? I don't understand. Items. Oh, she has to finish her meal. God damn it. Hurry up, Jane. Yeah, there we go. Now can we? Now can we? Nope. I don't know, maybe we have to end the meal. Order. Nope, we can't order another meal. That sucks. Okay, let's end the meal and pay the bill. Right. And while they are pay while he's paying up, I want him to hug the family. Cuddle and Cuddle, come on, where's Cuddle? She's going, mum's going. Why can't you hug? Hug the child. Here we go, hug, okay. He gets to hug Chrissy. He doesn't get to hug the other two. Okay, let's get him to head home. We will focus on getting a little bit of money together while we wait for time to go by and this evening he can invite 
Um, he can invite Chris out on, not Chris, he can invite uh, Jane out on a date. All right. Um, okay. Um, let's see what will happen with this. Um, right, making money. His needs should be pretty good. Yeah, his needs are pretty good. So let's see if he can get a new gig that will pay us even more. Because if we could take a bunch of money home... Oh, damn. Yeah, if we could take a bunch of money home, um, then that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, that would be really lovely if he could actually chat with a client and then make the website. Yeah, it would be great if he could actually make enough money to make it worth him going home, essentially. Um, okay, right. Nearly there, dude. You've got this. I believe in you. Look at what he literally, as a vampire, lived with. I, at one point, he did have a bed, you know. We were kind enough to give him a bed. That got shifted eventually for the shower. He's got a bar and a... <laughs> so literally, this has been his life. It's so sad. I feel bad. Oh, Hey, clan, I've been thinking about getting to know Lilith. <gasps> that was his, that, that's the mother of his fourth child. Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be fantastic if they got together? Lilith and the new father, Winter. <laughs> oh dear, I have some sick sense of humour, don't I? I do apologise, guys. Oh dear. Oh, Rosie has come to say hi. Invite in. Come on, finish this. Nearly there. Yeah. She switched careers. <gasps> That's our sim. Why did she switch? I told her to pursue her dream job. A rag reviewer. What is she doing? Come and see where I've been living, child. What's the Flitchwick fair? Okay, so... I mean, let's travel. Let's take Rosie with us. We can't leave a child at home alone. Like, you know. <laughs> Rosie obviously wants to spend some time with her father. Oh, my God. Wow, so Tom's currently trying to get Luna back to sleep. Lily, who shares a room with her, won't stop shifting in the bed. And then Cleo went in there and started uh, started meowing <laughs> while he's trying to get the three-year-old back to bed. Okay, so the Finch Wick uh, Fair is this. Uh, this comes with Country Living and you basically can put uh what one's that that's for your oversized crops you have one for your pie there's things that are for um uh where you can enter your cow in it as well uh and or llama there's there's loads of different things that happen in and among the these sorts of fairs it's really good it's a lot of fun if you're playing with that sort of stuff although our sims live over here they haven't really done anything to do with it at the moment and i don't know if we will in the future oh chris has come as well express love oh bless he's taken his twins out for the day which is quite adorable really oh 
Um, I mean, we could probably get into the spirit of things a little bit, couldn't we? <laughs> Maybe. Sing about it. Let's let's try and get him to uh, get into some of the, the, the spirit of this. Although he's... Oh, what is Jane wearing? That is not one of the outfits I have ever put her in. Nor would I ever put her in that. I'm sorry, but I am changing her because no. Um, change the outfit. These are her beautiful outfits that I have put her in. And none of them are that. Wait, what the hell's that? What is that? What the heck is that? I'm absolutely disgusted if you could not tell. Okay, awesome. Um, let's maybe put her in. I like this outfit. This outfit's really nice. <laughs> oh, a smooth apology. Well done. You get in there and give a smooth apology to your wife. He is getting a wee bit tired. Oh, it's 8 p.m. He could take her out on a date. Um, maybe let's get him to travel home now that I've showed you guys the Fitchwick, um, fair. Um, I think it would be a good idea for him to have a little nap before he takes her out. So maybe he could take her to the club. <gasps> I know where he should take her. Yes. I am off again. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us, Tana. I really do appreciate all of your support. I really do. Thank you. Okay. Hello, uh, Leona. How are you doing? Um, yeah, it, it's been a topsy-turvy day, but that's fine. We are just going to get him to have a little nap and then we will go ahead and get him to... Um, take Jane on a date to a nightclub that is from City Living. I think that would be nice um, for him to do that. Um, oh, it's too late now to go on a date. No. Is it too late for a date? I guess she said that she's sleeping. or nothing she said nothing asked to go on a date well i think she's shouting at him so <laughs> probably not a good sign is it did the toddler dress her apparently so I, I could i would agree with that um let's see p there we go and sleep. He'll take her out for a breakfast date then. <laughs> I I I, th I thought it'd be nice. Although we could, you know, take her on a date on Monday. Make it last a little longer. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head back over to the girls and maybe she can take the first step in inviting him out for a date. Maybe we could do that. Maybe that would be a way forward. Um, that she invites him out for a date. Yeah. Okay, that's made up in my mind now. We, we're going to do that. She's going to invite him out on a date. He invited them all out. Sort of expressed that he would like to see them get back together. They are still married. They're just separated for now. And maybe at the end of the date, she could invite him back over. I do feel like these should all be at home tucked up in bed <laughs> for god's sakes <laughs> jesus i love that the sims just don't they just don't do it do they <laughs> there's such pain in the back sides oh dear okay let's let's get everyone to bed everyone definitely oh my god no one is tired no one is tired. Everyone is going to bed regardless of tiredness. Get your butts in bed. It is bedtime. Sleep. 
Everyone goes to sleep until 7 a.m. when you may then wake up. Oh, the toddler's going to take a minute. Here she goes. At least she can go up the stairs. That's something. It's prank day, hey? Okay, everyone can wake up and get ready for school. Um, let's get some leftovers, probably. You need to use the potty, so that is good. Uh, where is the potty? I'm sure it's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's get mum to potty train Dorothy. First off, girls, go um, use the little girls' room. Oh, sorry. And grab some leftovers. Oh. Oh, well, because we haven't been on lot, that's not actually gone bad. <laughs> get some leftovers. And get some leftovers. Awesome. Um... Then we need to do... Oh, look at you go. Oh, she's so clever. <laughs> um, so how long have we got until the girls age up? We have 11 sim days. So because I would like to do the... Um, because I would like to get them married on Wednesday, or oh, real life Wednesday. What I'm gonna do is get them to age up. Oh bless, she's upset, she's had an accident. Let's get mum to give a bubble bath to Dorothy, give a bath to Dorothy. No, you didn't wanna do that. Give a bath to Dorothy. Pain in the backside. Where's the option gone? Please, please do it. There we go. I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> I have gone a little bit more somber since the beginning of the stream. And that is because I did wake Luna up and feeling a little bit guilty over that. Oh, look at her. It's so cute. Okay, mum now needs to go ahead and do the laundry, add to the washing machine, and probably get you to come downstairs and play with some blocks or whatever. Oh, no, you need to come downstairs. Why are you so tired? You just like, what? Right, I want to get the girls a thing still, though. Let's get her to nap on the sofa. I really want to get the girls a dog. You need a laundry basket. She, they don't need a laundry basket. It's fine. Um, let's uh, wash. That's gone bad, love. Why would you... <laughs> clean. Can we clean it out? No. We don't... We don't want to clean out the... Okay. On day 12. Oh, Barovi. Can you get me on track?
fuck. Nabba queen. Rabbit, Habari, Sit, Quimble Regina, and Sula. Shimmerage bean sloppin'. Cheapable mel. Ja bean. Trip. Ah, yikwa. Um, any audio? Uh, is it back? There we go. And it's back. I must have just knocked it out. I do apologize. Um, okay. Yeah, this date has not gone well. It has gone really atrociously, actually. This is like the worst date I've ever managed to have. Two Sims I have. Um, let's get them to head over. Uh, go here together. Let's just take a little stroll. Okay, away from everyone. You need to pee. Really? Really? Oh, can we apologize yet? Oh. oh my God. This date is not going well at all. I have really messed up their date. They're just their entire being together. This is not the way I wanted it to go. Where did he just go off to? I've lost him. Go here together. Likes fitness, yeah, sure. Go here together. Where is he? So much for a day. Like, oh my God, this is the worst date I've ever had two Sims have. Like, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Like, she didn't even make it. I don't understand how how it happened i'm i'm impressed in all honesty i'm really impressed um let's try and get a flirt in there embrace apologize again come on attempt to seduce 
Like, he's so jolly and happy, and he is really not jolly or happy right now. Oh, God. Oh, right. She's apologizing. Yes. There. Have a deep conversation. Deep conversation. Where did you go? So it looks like it might take at least another um, try before. So we got a gold date. Right, let's get them to travel together. Um, and let's travel home. And they have a tiny bit of romance. Yeah, they do. We're going to travel together and throw the girls a birthday party. Um, so that they turn into teens. They can still continue the um, other thing easily enough. Their uh, drama and their scouts. They can still do that easily enough. Um, but they can also start getting to know school friends. So that they can have someone to be romantically involved with. Uh, when they're young adults. So that on Wednesday they can get... Um, so that on Wednesday, we can actually get them to uh, get married. So let's make a chocolate cake. I love that when you have the popcorn out, they literally will only do that. But I think it's... Um, ...can be there for the girl's birthday. He has always been a good dad to the girls regardless of his um cheating cheating ways and birthday candle okay let's age let's age you up blow out your candles chris after all that hard work i put into getting them um looking nice i'm about to just like throw that away okay how is she going to look as a teenager? Okay, so I want her athletic. Oh, let's get her to want to go up the mountains. Oh no, not you. Um, I want you to... Friend of the world, no. Yeah, friend of the world. Yeah, Father Winter cheated on Jane with Lilith and they have a, ch Lilith and him have a child together. Um, it was a whole big thing. Um, want to make her self-assured maybe? Confident? No, cheerful. That's going to help with romance. And it's a bit like her. Oh my God. <laughs> Nice. Most of this sort of stuff that you see is because of, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to do them a makeover, Jesus. He's a bad boy. Hell yeah, he is. He's, he was so bad. And now it's Rosie's turn. It all happened in my quest to try and kill Father Winter. She is already obsessed with her phone. Um, Okay. And here's my little daredevil and my one that's going up the mountain. website that we can play with um oh no i just aged up the wrong one that's fine she is now an elder oh okay she's now an elder everyone's moved up right uh blow help blow out the candles is what i meant to do that's fine um Clem's also an elder as well. 
Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to change up everyone's outfits as well. Here we go, little one. And let's give her the mental... Maybe we can get her to go into... Um, uh, the science career, that could be fun. I need to remove that. That is because of the um, poses. And then there's one other thing we're going to do. And we are going to move him back in with us. Okay. With us. We're just wrapping up loose ends at this point. Um with the money that he's been earning and we will modify everyone in cast we'll do everyone up again make them wear more clothes that are a little bit more in keeping for their age although she looks fine actually um maybe a little bit lighter on the eyeshadow Maybe going for something more like that. Um, but I think that outfit's absolutely fine on her, actually. Um, okay, I don't really see anything wrong. I mean, maybe we can have a look at some older lady um, outfits on here. Just looks a little bit drab, doesn't it? It's just like I they needed to put give old people some clothes, so they threw something together. That just looks so drab. It's just drab. <laughs> I'm back. No way, Jane is no. I accidentally aged her up, Erin. It was an accident, but it did happen, and I'm not going to change it. She's a Floridan retired elder now. She is. Oh, I love that. I think I'll keep that. Okay, we have our teen, our lady who is going to rule the world. Doesn't she look beautiful now that she's aged up? As a child, she wasn't, you know, she she had really weird, gawky face. But she, she seems to have grown into her face now. Right, so a teenager, what are we looking at? Right, get rid of the extras there. Um, I wanted her to be a bit of a rebel. No, she's not a bit of a rebel. She is a... Uh, Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm digging that. So she is going to be my world ruler. Um, oh, wow. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think the new pack will give amazing options for elder formal wear. I really, really hope you're right with that, Erin. Um, I'm. I might have to put my uh, mods in here. I really love her hair now, and I love this outfit on her. She looks stunning. Okay. Um. That looks absolutely fine. Meh. So apparently as she's got older, she's she's started to need glasses. I think that's a nice nighty. I do think we should put glasses on e all of the outfits. Like you don't tend to have glasses for certain outfits. I like them. Where did they go? I lost the glasses. I liked those glasses. Uh, apparently we can't have them for this. 
Oh, wow. Oh, what do you guys think? <laughs> they definitely make a statement. I think they're nice. Um, grab them again. Sleepwear. She probably doesn't need glasses on for nighttime. Um, party wear. Okay, I kind of want to go for some of these already done ones. I don't think that's necessarily her. Um, oh, that looks so pretty on her. Um, oh my God. It's legally blonde as an old lady. Oh, I think that's nice. I think that might be her sister's style though. I mean, her mum had something similar to that in the pink, in the purple. So maybe she could take on a bit more like her mother. Maybe. Um, swimwear for a teen. Quite like that for her. Maybe in the green. Apparently I'm going for a green theme with her. <laughs> uh, hot weather. I quite like that. Um, I want her to be like the friend of the world, the wo world ruler, maybe. Something like that. I don't like that one on her. Mmm, cute. There it is. <laughs> you know it. When you see it, you just know. Not that one. Oh. Oh. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Oh, I made me snowball all naked. Let's see, did that work? Testing, one, two, three, testing. Okay, so it's working again. Apparently I'm having some severe mic issues. It's like, it keeps breaking. And I'm not sure why. I am sorry. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so she was my, like, emo goth um, child. The Judy hair is not going to work. <laughs> You're back again. I don't know what's going on with my mic. Apparently, it just keeps slipping out. I, I don't know. 
Um, great. <laughs> she looks like a swamp lady. Um, let's see. Uh, green and black. Let's see if we can go a little bit emo-ish. Like, hates the world. Her parents are getting back together. And, like... She hates everything. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Come on. Give me... Oh. <gasps> what do you guys think? Do you guys like it or not? Oh my god. I think I kind of love that. I, I think I kind of love that. That got me really, like, vamped up. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh my god. You got a red of the white and blue of father winter then she's ah oh, she's reveling i love that the green swamp hair though oh i want to make her a mermaid i want to make her a mermaid so bad okay so again Oh my god. Um I mean, you would as a parent, I would be pissed if my girls were going out in a corset <laughs> at any age. <laughs> so I kind of love that. Um for rebelling against family. Um, I mean, it doesn't always have to be overly revealing to be inappropriate, does it? Um, just seeing if there's anything a bit more teenagery in here. I seem to have some CC caught in here as well. But I'm g I'm not going to put her in that because I'm going to have to change all of that because it shouldn't. Be, it's in the wrong folder. I mean, that's certainly s telling a statement, isn't it? Mm. She's uh, giving me... It's not working properly, and if it's going to keep jumping out, that's going to be really annoying for you guys and myself. So, let's see. Some PJs. Uh -huh. 
That worked when you stood up. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with the stupid thing. <laughs> it's just one of those nights, apparently. Oh, why? It's, it's from all of the um, poses and the bits that go with it. I love that everything, like, is matching in colour. Um, so much makeup. Just, like... Um... Is the other one not wearing that outfit? I can't remember. Was the other one wearing that outfit? I know I'd come across it. Yeah, so I had, I'd said that it would suit her more, this outfit. Doesn't help there is a delay, does it? It really does, and I do apologise um i've tried everything to get rid of that delay i get why there's a delay it doesn't mean i like the delay it's so annoying hmm should we give her a little tattoo do you think her mum and dad would kill her for getting a tattoo um I think they would, but I kind of think that would be fun for them to find out that she has a tattoo and go nuts at her. Hmm. That's an interesting outfit. But I'd want this in red. That isn't red. <laughs> Give me red. Mm. Nope. Interesting. Do we have red boots? Let me see these boots. Apparently not. You're not going to let me see the boots. Apparently that's because the boots aren't here. <laughs> Seriously. She looks silly now at this point. Um, I mean, she's not dressed very appropriately, is she? But I feel like that's kind of the point as well, isn't it? Oh my God, I love it. Okay. And then again, let's go for a styled look for her, hopefully. Mm. I mean, it's not very warm weather. <laughs> That's not going to keep her warm at all whatsoever. Let's go for jeans and like a hoodie or something. I feel like she would have a hoodie or something. Oh my God. If I was her mother, I'd kill her go her going out like that in winter. I love it for her. <laughs> I love it for her. Okay. So that's all of the kids done. Nope, it's not. We have one stray. She's such a sweet kid. Oh, I love that for her. Uh Oh my god. <laughs> um yes. Uh That's cute. Sleepwear. I kind of just want to get this done with now so that we can uh end the stream so i can head to bed after a day that i've had i'm very much ready for bed and the fact that this keeps cutting out is really starting to pee me off apparently i need to reorganize my 
She is, isn't she? She is like one of the best naturally natural sims to come out of the game so far. <laughs> I mean, the others have grown up into very beautiful young ladies, especially Chris, who, let's face it, she needed to grow into those cheekbones. <laughs> um, and she did very well. But like, um, Dorothy's just really pretty. Um I think this has been a very, very good stream, though. It's It's been like three hours now, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy that I've been going for so long. I adore the way they're looking. I think that maybe I'm going to get them to start arguing a little bit because they're living in the same room or something in the next episode potentially have a little bit of a thing going on and then they can come back together when they um are growing up uh when they're like getting ready to get married and that um but i want to say thank you to everyone there's been so many comments and chattering away and a special thank you to matilda for subscribing i do appreciate that anyone that hasn't and would like to then consider subscribing on wednesday i will be buying the pack when it is released and i will be streaming literally an hour or two literally an hour or two after it's released and I will go through how to, everything about it and we will test and we will play and we will try and break it as well. And we will really get into the depths of this new uh, wedding pack so that if you decide to buy it, you know what you're buying. Um, because there is nothing more heartbreaking than spending any money on something that you feel is shite at the end of the day. Um, my language has been pretty bad today and I do apologise for that as well. But um, yeah. <laughs> so I want to say thank you to Erin, Goodbeard slash Mark, Clifford slash Rachel, um, Sherry. Um, I'm hoping I don't miss anyone because so many people have commented. Um, Kim... Active Aspen, a Leona Studio, Tenaka, um, trying to make sure I don't double say people's names as well. Uh, Matilda, um, Brian, Brian, um, Casey, <laughs> thank you, thank you to all of you, uh, Felicia. I do like saying thank you to everyone that does comment and a special thank you to everyone who doesn't and as well and is just in the background. Um, Andrea, um, Oslem, um, something play because I don't know what those symbols are at the beginning um, and Dylan Fuller. Thank you everyone so, so, so much for being here, for joining me and supporting the channel. It means a lot every time you guys join me. Um, and again, another special thank you to Erin and uh, Rachel slash Cl Clifford for being my moderators this evening. We have had no bot activity. How awesome is that? And as always, Erin the Rescue Simmer, who is in ch chat now, if you want to see a unique animal shelter gameplay let's play, then check out her channel. Honestly, it's the most unique challenge, self-imposed challenge I have ever seen. And she is so entertaining while she does it. Um, but yeah, I will leave that there. Thank you again, everyone. I love you. Please subscribe if you haven't already.